Box box, why are you only plat what happened? Is it not obvious? I'm surprised I have to answer this question, but in case anyone else also is wondering what happened, I don't like the game right now, so I'm playing on a smurf. I think the game at the highest level is really bad right now, so I don't want to play competitively. I still play because it's like what I'm here to stream, but I want to just play random bullshit and then try to make it work. The way the game is right now is um, pretty unhealthy. I, if you've been watching my stream at all, you've heard me talk a lot about why I think it's unhealthy and what they can do to fix it. But yes, in general, the game is not very good to play right now. Usually I always recommend TFT to my friends, but lately, I, every time someone talks to me about it, I always say the same thing. I just say like, wait till set 10. This set has a lot of problems that can't be solved anymore. They could have at the beginning of the set, but it's too late now. So we should just wait for set 10 and hope it's better. Hello, salty one, two, three, one, two, three, eight, one, three, nine, four, eight, three, one. Thanks for the twenty six months. Karma. Ah, oh, shit, I could that Melzar. That was my bad. Alright. Kinda got a pause champ in the chat. We are once again in that boat of, uh, we're just gonna play whatever we get here. Oh! Void? I'm down. Let's, let's go for our Baron Nasher. I haven't had, I haven't had one of those in a while. I'm a little sad because I um I sold my thing. I sold I sold the Malzahar by accident. That's fine. I feel like I was gonna have to make ten anyway. Uh, I haven't played Void in a while. Box box. May I ask why you dislike this patch? Uh, I mean I I can't speak for this patch specifically, but the game in general just has not been very good recently. Maybe this patch fixes it, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's like too late. I already let my main account decay out of Challenger. But basically, the general complaints about the set that me and many other people have are that you kind of just like, your best play is almost always just force a line on 2-1. Lock in a hero augment. Take Earth. Lock in something. Uh, lock in a build based on like the first two-star unit you hit. How many times do you get like three gins early? You're just like, okay, I don't need Vanquishers, no scout, no pivot. I And trust me, I've tried pivoting and it almost never works. It's like, like 90% of the time, pivoting is a throw. Very rarely is it the correct play. It feels extremely bad to play. Yeah, like, flex, it, flex play is like kind of dead now. Why do you think that is? Uh, it's because legends exacerbate any uh, imbalances. There are too many ridiculously strong combos and not enough like uh, reasonable combos. This is because like they missed the mark on balance. So in previous sets, if you were going for a certain carry and had good items for them, you could fail to hit the carry, but then you hit a different carry where the items kind of transfer over, and then you could play that instead. And that's just, you know, flex play. That's good play. 
oh, I wanted to play this four cost carry, but I didn't hit it. So I'll pivot to this four cost carry that can use similar items. And I hit some of the other pieces for it. Being able to play with those kinds of restrictions in mind is, is very high skill. Unfortunately, if you ever try that in this set, it just doesn't work. Not because of the way the set was made, but because the balance was bad. Azir should have been a unit that you could play when you fail to hit uh, other AP carries. He's a good flexible four cost carry with the, whose synergies link up with a lot of other good units like Nasus and Jarvan. But yeah, as it is right now, uh, if you try to pivot, it's, it's almost always the wrong play. You just get f you do. So we are in a, a current game state where like everybody locks in their build on 2-1 and then like whether or not you top four, right off the bat is just like, are you contested? And then if you are not contested, you can play for first. If you are contested, you're playing to strip a fourth. It's really unhealthy. I, I trust that set 10 will be better. I think it'll be, from what I've heard about it, it'll be pretty good. I think it's very hard to get the balance just right because any like slightly overpowered thing will get massively abused by um by certain legends. Like how people would spam Twitch Bait Multicasters. Whatever level here, am I a psycho? I feel like I'm gonna win anyway. Oh, I, I just realized. I should have played this for Nectin. Okay, I have to sell this Warwick then. Do you think this set is still better than the last four? Uh, I think set 9 was really good. Set 9 was pretty good. Uh, 9.5, they missed the mark on balance. How strong? I heard Demacia is really strong. If I face that guy, I might have to slam a spark. Ah, shit. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna slam the spark. Please don't lose this. If I lose this, like, suddenly I'm playing for a fourth. This streak matters so much. Come on, Nashers, Samira one. I think we got it. Do you prefer this set over the eight cost dragons? I no, I actually kind of like that one. Like, I definitely got mad about how much you win the game on the spot if you hit a dragon early. But overall, the set was still pretty fun to play. It was also my best set. I hit 1300 LP on it. I really enjoyed the units. I just didn't like the concept of dragons. I think dragons are way too swingy. If you guys didn't play that set, that's the one where you could get, instead of a four cost, you could get a seven cost as early as level five. And the seven cost was like a massive, like push in the direction of a build. It was a, it was like a super unit. It was ridiculous. I. And like dragons were fine as like a thing that you could hit at like level eight and nine to like spike your board, but people could hit it so early because they took the same slot as four cost. You could just randomly get one as early as like two two. You could like level to five, roll once, hit a shield you, and like you just you just win the game on the spot. It's not even close. I need to roll a tiny bit here. I need it. Uh, I need a good two star. Oh my god. I did not hit a good two star. I was trying. But yeah, in set seven, there was a lot of fun units. Uh, but about, uh, the concept was bad. No, okay. I think I actually just lose the game. I actually like literally lost the game on the spot right there. I just rolled 30 gold at six and I hit nothing. Unless Void Crest. Void Crest. No, not here. Void Crest. Ah, god damn it. Okay, we, we lose the game. I, I am already ready to forfeit. When you roll this much gold at six with so many outs and you hit none of them, that is like a bottom 1% rolled out. Like I didn't hit one Samira, which would have kept my streak. I didn't hit 
of Elkaz or Rek'Sai to play four Bruisers or six Void. I didn't hit a two-star Warwick that I had a pair of the entire game. I hit like a Sejuani and that was it. Very, 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 very unplayable. I uh, we just lose. I take shoplifting and then I pray that I can make it to level eight and hit a Belveth early and that's it. That's all I can do here. Why don't you get this Cho'Gath and build a Cho 3? I'm level 6, dude. You want me to stay level 6 and then roll it down for a 1 cost? I wouldn't be surprised if even if I rolled the entire game, I wouldn't hit it. We take shoplifting to fix the fact that we lost our streak, but we're just playing a gold augment down now. I I think what we do here is I go 7 and then I roll it down, and if we if we miss, I think I just forfeit. I may be merciful. Like, you could play this out for a top four. And honestly, like, if I play this out, I think we're still almost guaranteed a top four. Uh, but I have no interest in playing for a top four. I want to play for our first and that's it. My current thoughts on TFT are just like, I'm just going to try to force something fun and, and woke. And if that fails, then I'll just give up and move on to the next game. I used to like enjoy like salvaging an eighth to a sixth or a sixth to a fourth. But now I'm only here for the tubers. All right, so we level up here. Leveling up here actually is, does sync up with what shoplifting does as an identity. Uh, shoplift, leveling up increases your average gold by one per round. So like, it kind of pays for itself. Pretty sure I lose this. Unless. Oh baby, I won. Okay, uh, what do I want here? I want a sword. If I can't get the sword, what do I want here? Maybe just this Velkaz. Maybe a glove as well. Nice. Alright. Give me a Kaisa and a Rek'Sai. Or a Velkaz. Or f get level 7 Belva. I did it. We saved the game. Do you need two spets for Baron? No, you should go eight and hit Belva. It's not a very flexible build. You you play all void, and then you just like get one flex spot, and that's it. Uh, I could do four bruisers here. That's probably better than this Warwick. Oh, bottom four. Why are the why are the fake hero augments even in the game? Tbh. I mean, they're not bad. I kind of like them. I enjoy playing the boss. Full hero augments is really unhealthy. I think the partial ones is fine. Like, it's never overwhelming when someone else hits a hero augment, and it's pretty fun when you're the one who hits it. But uh, there's definitely like a big issue in the game with like, oh, um, I'm playing this build, so only these augments are good for me. And you just like hope that you hit those augments. Like a lot of times, like you see what I'm doing this game. If I even if I were on my challenger account, this would be my best play. Oh, I got void crest. Let's just force void the whole game, right? So then now I'm just praying. Now I'm just praying the rest of the game that I get augments that line up with what void is as an identity. Like. If I manage to hit the augment named Void Crest, suddenly like my average placing goes up by like three. And like hitting an augment is something entirely outside of your control. The only thing you can do to increase your odds of hitting an augment is to like play Poro and get with us do one extra augment. That's why I find it so frustrating. I don't think that it was so reliant on hitting augments like that before. So uh, it upsets me. Okay, so 22 is kind of crazy. Alright, 
I go eight, I throw in a Taric or any challenger, and then I just chill for a while, and then I shoplifting my way. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just go nine and try to cap out my board. I'm pretty sure the win con here is just like get a Belveth two, uh, and have like an RE two. What? Level seven, 40 gold, Mordekaiser two? He didn't roll. He didn't roll for that. He just hit it. Okay, he didn't slam a single item though, so we won. The egg. Wow, well, I'm actually kind of down. Are we? Are we ever gonna egg it up? I, I'm kind of down. Curse Crown's also not bad, but I'm down. I'm down to egg. Wait. What if I got like three void spats and I got Baron right now? All right, egg. All right, egg. I'm down. Let's level up right now then. Let's roll, try to get something playable. You know, imagine I just hit... Oh. Imagine I just hit a uh, Belveth right here. Oh okay, yeah, I, I need to keep rolling. So you can't play four bruisers, unfortunately, late game. Uh, if you want to play 8 Void, so I actually have to sell this to Johnny later. But I'm, I'm down to keep rolling and try to hit um, a Kaisa 2 at least. Can I get a, a large B in the chat? Actually, no, no, that, that's too pushy. How about a, a small B? A small B. Yeah, let's not, let's not put too much pressure on her. Nah, we're not going for Velcos 3. Okay, nice. This should be good enough to sit on. But yeah, unfortunately, you have to sell this to Juani. Or you just, like, don't play Fiora. Oh, this is running so good for my frontline, though. Okay, what if I just go 9? What if I just go 9? I'm down. Should you Nico the Vi? Uh, I could. I feel like most likely I'm selling here though, so I'm like hesitant. But if I want to just like make sure I win right now, I could do it, which would be reasonable because we have the egg. Okay, what do I want here? Uh, rod. I want a gunblade. I would also be down for glove. I would take an IE and just like a little awkward butter. How is double Shojin Kaisa sound? Oh, Albert, you missed the turn. I just lost one gold for that. I tried to like, I tried to like steer into it and I failed. Alright, I'm done. Now I need to go to Vi and just sit. Alright, I'm gonna do double Shoujin and see what happens. Yeah, I mean, it's not ideal, but I think it gets me the egg cash out. It turns her from, um, 8 autos to 6 autos. Are you home? Yes. You guys want a house tour? Actually, wait. This camera is not very flexible. Uh, but this is what, this is what it looks like over there. My mom's house is, like, kinda messy. But it, it's very homey. My, my my family is very, like, hoardy. Like, we hold on to, like, a bunch of shit for no reason. Uh, well, okay. There is a reason. The reason, if you ask my mom, why do we have this thing from eight years ago that we haven't used since, she will say, because it might be useful ten years later. Like, ten years later, it's like, man, I kind of want to go roller skating. And it's like, my mom's like, wait, I kept your roller skates from 2006. For this moment. And then she'll like pull out this thing that like took up storage space. Man, I sold my Fiora for Econ and then I immediately got another one. But yeah, yeah, so it's very messy, but what's really funny is like, if you ever ask my mom like, Hey mom, where's the juggling balls? And then she'll be like, oh, it's, it's, uh, it's in the attic, uh, underneath the box of, uh, wallpapers from 2019. Uh, it's labeled in a box called Tax Files 2016. And I'm like, uh, incredibly specific, but okay. She somehow knows where everything is. Yeah, IL-4, row 3. Shojin is a flex item now. Oh, did they change it? Oh, it gives AD. Maybe double Shojin's actually kind of good. I'm, like, surprised that I'm winning these fights. I really shouldn't be. Like, have you guys ever taken the egg and then just win streaked? I'm playing two combat augments down. I'm literally, like, my three augments basically add up to, say, avoid crest and money. But I guess, like, Rift Herald is just really strong in early game. So, 
Having this two-star Kai'Sa as a backline was nice. I think Psycho rolling for the Kai'Sa 2 is a good play. Alright, guys, I could sell the Fiora for Econ, but no, not this time. Not this time. I know she's coming home. She didn't come home. Okay, I think I think I just have to sack now. You could roll it down for one Belveth, one Fiora, but I'd rather just like lose streak now and then hatch the egg anyway and then go nine. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you want um I want a bow here for RFC Belveth. Uh dang. I mean Titans is fine, right? And then a random cloak. Oh god, this guy's on his last stand and he's level nine. Wait, patient study last stand, it pays to learn. Wow. He went ultra fast nine. Honestly, I don't even think it's that strong. Like I wouldn't be surprised if once I hatch my egg I actually beat him. Just give me a second. Give me a few rounds, I'll get stronger. Wait. Wait. Wait a second. That was his last stand. Well, I hatched my egg. Pawn, level 9. Wow, look at these items. Pretty good Belveth items. Alright, I'm a Psycho. Let's level the 9 right now. I've got shoplifting. And then I roll once, hit Belveth, the crowd goes poggers. Roll once, hit Belveth, and the crowd goes pog. Roll once and hit Belveth, and the crowd goes... Roll once and hit... Oh shit! Albert, you and your slow ass APM! I even put in the wrong unit. <laughs> if I lose my streak because of this, I'm gonna be so sad. Actually. The Aatrox. I, I can't actually fit him in. Okay. So, who's going out here? I think it's just Fiora. Oh, wait, no. It's Aatrox. Duh. Oh, wait. I just realized. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to sell... Okay, wait, I gotta, I gotta do, I gotta do a shit ton of operations here. Okay. Whew! Dizzy, but we got it. This is definitely like a better endgame cap. Sell your Sejuani, sell your Vi. It's weaker right now. But once you eventually cap out by two starring all your legendaries, this is stupidly strong. Uh, I don't know if the show jumps was to go on Belkaz, but I got dizzy. Well, I mean, who else could have gone on here, right? Not really a Belveth. I might rebuild the Sphere. I'd move items to Aatrox. I want a Belveth item here. Hodge. I guess it's just a Warmox. I need a BT for this Belveth. I mean, this Hodge will maybe do. Wait, this Cassante is gonna go so hard. Unironically, no cap for real, for real. Oh, and here's a cloak. My try gets that plus six turn health, even though again, I never really played him. Wait, this Cassante is gonna be amazing. I'm so excited. Wow, that's actually crazy. I'm playing eight void, but I actually have so many carries. Fiora functions to carry, Aatrox functions, Kaisa does, even Velka's a little bit. And then we've got a random two-star Cassante. Like, how can you beat this? Hello, Carl C. Thanks for the Prime. Maybe if I, like, Econ a bit, I can maybe three-star something. Crown the Malzahar? Oh, yeah, 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 I'm down. He's a king. All right, what are you guys cooking? Six Vanquishers, Karma three. That's a very interesting build to reroll for. Also, Jeweled Gauntlet is a horrible slam once you already have a Vanquisher emblem. Like, I see he has a tier, so like, at what point did he slam it? Ah, whatever. Oh god. Wait, this is such a golden board. Frequent flyer, golden ticket, three-star everything. Oh, but he didn't three-star the German. Oh, I'm against him. Wait, he might actually beat me. He has literally three-star everything. 
If only I had an unfair tank that could instantly one-shot three-star tanks. No problem. God, Cassante is so unfair. Vanquisher, Karma 3, one-shots? Oh, I'm sure it does. What I'm talking about here is that once you have the Vanquisher Karma 3, you don't need a Jeweled Gauntlet, right? Because the Vanquisher spat is a Jeweled Gauntlet, but better. You're just like wasting an item. And I see he has a tier here. So you definitely could have done like Archangels, at least. Or Hodge. All right, give me a BT Belveth. Specifically a BT, but I'll take a Gunblade or a Hodge, okay? So here, if we hit a BT, we, the crowd goes poggers. If we hit anything else, any healing item, you say, okay. Dang. Ah, uh, it's probably just the RFC. Could be a redemption as well. Alright, I'm gonna aim for a 3 star or something, so I'm gonna try to econ up. Uh, where shall I aim? Oh, are you guys ready for this play? You're not ready for this. If I put my Cassante right here specifically, I think he's gonna do something illegal. Eyes on Cassante and where he's going to go. So, I want him to hit the Gangplank. So first, let's have you hit the, the Alawi. And then you go straight to the back line, and he's dead. Where's my team? Wait, it's actually very close. Oh my god. I almost lost that. Oh? Wait, I'm getting excited. Why didn't you build a QSS for your Belva? You know, sometimes I feel like people are just like new to the game and they ask questions like that. But I cannot imagine what led you to ask, why didn't I take a QSS for my Belva there? Let me also zoom in on the Belva for you. My RFC QSS uh, Belveth. Yes! Kick my ass! I need more time to hit my units. Yeah. Dude wants me to get a, a double CC immune, Bubba. Okay, uh, I'm down to roll down next round. Wait, does this Aatrox even do anything? Oh, Slayer. Oh, shit! Wait! Hey, wait a second. He's holding my Fiora's and Kaisa's. Oh, he sold them! Wait! If he wanted to win, he was supposed to hold those. Wait, I don't think he realized. Well, I appreciate you not being a rat. Let's do this. Alright, Jarvan 3, everybody. Wait, where's the Jarvan 3? Wait. Wait. What? I think my Belveth beat it. The QSS Belveth just like one shot him, because that's what Belveth does. Percent max health true damage. Wait. My my epic battle, dude. My epic battle! I was gonna like roll for a Belveth 3 to try to win, but he just died. Look at his port. He has literally three star everything. That's insane. I mean, his augments are kind of crazy. Frequent flyer golden ticket equals four times the uh, rolling power. Like, I'm also playing two combat augments now. I guess the egg is more than that, huh? If I Kaisa dodged the Jarvan and then Belveth just did the Belveth thing. Man, I was looking forward to an epic showdown.